the other thing as well. This is um, this is an opportunity for us to learn. So mm. there are things there are things that we've now taken on board as being our everyday that yeah. potentially could be implemented into business normality moving forward. Um, particularly Zoom. I think mm. Zoom and and this interaction, although we don't have that tactile touch, feel, embrace, we probably won't be allowed to do that anyway for for some time. But, but we, we now uh, are probably more okay. And, and I think the one thing that we spoke about last week, Alex, was that um, two years ago, three years ago, a video needed to be professional. If someone made a stuff up or if, if their hair was out of place, it would be doctored, it would be Photoshopped. Right now, as long as you're dressed, I'm okay to have a Zoom meeting with you. Yeah. Like at the moment, I don't mind what you look like. I don't mind. I, I don't mind if there are kids in the background. There's dogs screaming. I don't mind about that. So we've probably now adapted and become all more resilient to the fact that um, this might be something which we take from a good to a to a to, from a bad to a good moving forward. Absolutely, that's exactly right. And I've just shared a screen with you, everyone. I'm not sure whether anyone is familiar with it. It's a bubble line below the line. Is anyone familiar with this model at all? Uh, no. No. Terrific. This is exciting. <laughs> um, so above the line, below the line is basically um, a model of where people normally sit, where we sit as human beings. And so from bad comes good, right? So how we speak, how we speak to not only ourselves, to our staff, um, to our clients really matters. And it actually then determines whether it's a successful outcome or not. So for example, if you're sitting below the line, then we start doing, we're focusing on the problem. And below the line is pretty dark, miserable and crappy, right? It's really wet and yucky down there and it's cold and ugh. So below the line is where nothing happens, literally, where you're not moving because you're so focused on the stuff that's not working that you haven't even given a go yet. So the stuff that you potentially think that may be problematic, um, the stuff where you're blaming everything and everyone, the stuff where we're in denial and defensive and we're not wanting to move. So we're reactive instead of responsive. And below the line is where you don't want to be. Ideally, you want to move yourself above the line as a leader, um, as, as whatever it is that you are in your industry or even in your personal life. It's important to aim for above the line. Focusing on the problem is going to get us nowhere, nobody. And this is how and the conversations that we need to be having with our people as well. So your team who is online and at home, you, you need to be listening. It's about listening to their language and then slowly guiding them through those conversational points to bring them above the line. You know what, Michael, I know it really sucks at the moment, but how great is it that this is another opportunity for us right now? You know, maybe this is a great way that we can look at some other, you know, innovate and just do some new things yeah. to help ourselves, but also our clients. Imagine how. And then those sort of conversations are better than this is crap, yeah. right? So above the line is about focusing on solutions. It's um, action taking. It's holding yourself and your team accountable. It's taking responsibility of what comes out of your mouth and how it is that you're languaging it. It's being more open and responsive instead of being reactive. Does this make sense? Is this sort of making sense as to, and I, I'm really curious um, and it's cool. It's cool, but I'm curious as where you think you may sit right now. You can either pop maybe, it in the chat or. In the chat, but where you, where you, just pop in the chat where you feel you sit above or below the line. Mm. Um, I think Alex, the, uh, the, the example of below the line would be if you went onto any of our Facebook forums at the moment. Right. Uh, the tonality, the aggression, the victim, all of those things. And, and rightfully so, some people have got some pretty ordinary situations at the moment. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and everywhere they look, they're trying to, they're, they're, they're trying to get some help. But, uh, you know, a lot of them are, are running below the line. So as a result, I think what they do is because they're in this blame victim approach, they miss out on what some of the positives are. And that, there's an opportunity there. That's exactly right. 
That's exactly right. And I love that I'm seeing in the chat that Kirk, well done above the line and Richard, that's terrific. Um, <clears throat> see, this is the thing. And I think Michael, you raised a good point in that we don't know what we don't know. And so when we're not asking ourselves the right questions, when we're not asking the right questions of our staff, we don't know how to get to above the line. And it's a matter of knowing how and being, um, I suppose, uh, aware of the right questions. And there are so many different questions there are so many different ways in which we can ask ourselves different questions to be able to deliver a message which is going to bring us above the line rather than below the line. I've just shared a very quick model with you just here and I'm going to, with your permission, Michael, send you out the um, PDF of these slides, but also a group of different questions that you can start practicing and start to use within your teams, within each, you know, with each other, with your clients and notice the difference of, um, you know, of your results right there because you'll notice it almost immediately. Just to get that practice and um, to get used to that language and build that muscle because that really matters. So absolutely. what we tell ourselves really matters. That's great, Ron. Sorry, Michael. I was gonna say that, no, absolutely, that, that, that's great. I'll, we'll make sure we share those.